Never has an astronomical event elicited an overwhelming sense of awe and wonder. The beautiful mechanics of planetary motion are put on full display for all to observe. The motions of the Earth and the Moon with respect to the Sun are seen to play out, creating an experience so profound that its effects are felt on many levels. People from all walks of life chase the Moon's eclipsing form across the surface of Earth to once again reside in the shadow of the Moon. Using Kepler's laws of planetary motion and repeated astronomical observations, we can now predict where and when the Moon's disk will block out our local star and its shadow will race across the surface of Earth. In order to better understand the mechanics and nature of solar eclipses, we need to study our nearest celestial neighbour, the Moon. It is because of the Moon and its orbit that we have these spectacular celestial events. The Moon orbits Earth every 29 and a half days. As it moves dutifully around our planet, we on Earth can observe the lunar phases. Starting with a new moon, we see the Sun, Moon and Earth all in a line. The face of the moon, illuminated by the Sun, is opposite to Earth and its familiar face is hidden in darkness. Seven days after, we observe half the moon's surface lit by the Sun. We call this phase first quarter. Seven days after first quarter, the Sun, Earth and Moon are once again in alignment. From the night side of Earth, the entire face of the Moon is illuminated by the Sun's light. This is known as the Full Moon. Nearly 22 days after New Moon, the Moon is now at its last quarter phase. Eventually, in a further seven days, it will complete its cycle and return to where it is located between the Sun and Earth. Solar eclipses only occur during a new moon phase. The Earth orbits the Sun on a flat plane called the ecliptic. Earth shares this plane with all the other planets in our solar system. However, when we look at the Moon's orbital plane, we see it is inclined at 5 degrees with respect to the ecliptic. This means that sometimes, during a new moon, the shadow cast by the Moon misses the Earth. If this inclination wasn't there, we would have an eclipse every month. There are times when the inclination of the Moon's orbit and the ecliptic intersect. These intersections are called lunar nodes. It is during this intersection, coupled with the alignment of the Sun, Moon and Earth, that produce a solar eclipse. Another contributing factor is the Moon's orbit. Like the orbit of the planets of our solar system, it isn't circular, rather, it's elliptical. As we can see, the orbital path of the Moon is slightly elongated in this simulation. When the Moon is close to Earth in its orbit, it is called perigee. At its furthest point from Earth, it's called apogee. This variation in orbit produces a visible change in angular size, how big the Moon appears from Earth. At perigee, the disk of the Moon is 14% larger compared to its appearance at apogee. This angular size can have profound effects on how the Moon covers the solar disk during a solar eclipse. By sheer coincidence, the Moon is 400 times smaller than the Sun. However, the Moon is also 400 times closer to Earth than the Sun. This perspective allows the disk of the Moon to perfectly match the angular size of the Sun. If the Moon is at perigee, the disk of the Moon will block out the entire disk of the Sun, giving a total solar eclipse. However, if the Moon is at apogee, the Moon's angular size is slightly smaller than the solar disk, allowing a thin ring of sunlight to shine past the eclipsing Moon. This is called an annular eclipse. The upcoming Ningaloo total solar eclipse in 2023, the path of totality will skim past the Australian continent, limiting the accessibility to experience the breathtaking event. This fleeting moment can only be observed within the line of totality. The path is but a mere 41 kilometers across 
and the moon's shadow will race across the Earth's surface at over 2,700 kilometers per hour. These limitations will only provide 62 seconds of totality for observers in the center line. Observers beyond the path of totality will witness a partial solar eclipse. This is where only part of the solar disk is covered. The further from the path of totality, the less of the sun is obscured by the moon. Partial eclipses can be dangerous to observe. The Ningaloo total solar eclipse promises to be an exciting event. Throughout history, solar eclipses were seen as bad omens or harbingers of doom. Today, through science and technology, we know that we are witness to the clockwork machinery of the solar system. Whether observing a total or partial solar eclipse, this event will now instill a sense of awe and wonder and maybe a renewed sense of understanding of our planet and our place within the solar system.